Hey guys, how's it going? In this course, we are going to learn how we can build a RESTful API with Express and MongoDB using the library called Mongoose. So this tutorial is actually based on my blog post that I wrote earlier. Uh, so you might want to check it out if you want to uh, read the written version of this course in the link down below. So let's get started from scratch. Here I have a blank folder. So as you can see that I have nothing in this folder. Now I want to generate a Node.js project so I can say npm init-y. I'm sorry, uh, not py, but npm init-y. So this command will generate a package.json file for me. And the reason why we need this is because we want to install some dependencies. So uh, I'm going to install so npm install express as well as mongoose. So we need both these packages to uh, build our RESTful API. Cool. So the installation is finished. Now we can open up this project using your code editor. So here I'm going to use VS Code. So I can say code dot. And now, as you can see that here. Uh, we have a simple uh, Node.js uh, blank project. So we can start by create a new file inside the SRC folder called index.js. And this will contain our init um, server. So um, this is where our application is starts. So I'm going to import express. So const express is require express. And then after importing express, we want to uh, initialize a new express server and we can do that by running const app is equal to express so we're initializing a new express server inside this variable so now uh, we can start our server by running app dot listen and inside the port of 8000 and we also want to add the callback so uh, here I can add a new callback and this callback will be triggered whenever our server is started. So I can say console.log server has started at port 8000 like this. And now I can open up my terminal to run this um, server. So I can say node src index.js. Now, as you can see that the server is running, we can open up our browser to test it out. So I can open up Chrome and localhost 8000. And now, as you can see that we have the response, but it returns an error. And the reason why we get this error is because we have the server, but we haven't set up our routes yet, which means that the server is doing nothing. So uh, to do something in our server, uh, just for testing, we can uh, create new routes. So we can say app dot get and slash so basically uh, it tells our server that hey i want to allow the get request to the this endpoint right here so the slash endpoint and uh, what i'm going to do in this route is i'm going to um, use this function as the handler so this function will get the request object as well as the response and we are going to send the client back uh, this string right here so I can say hello world just for testing so uh, it's basically uh, whenever the user go to uh, the slash endpoint uh, with the get method uh, we are going to return the hello world string now we can go back to our terminal and uh, restart our server so node src next to js and now we can go back to our um, browser and as you can see that the hello world is now working cool so uh, before we end, I just want to show you uh, how we can make our workflow much more easier. So uh, for now, every time we update something in our server, we need to restart our uh, node src index.js over and over again. And to prevent that, we can install uh, dependencies, uh, dev dependencies, which is uh, dependencies that we only use for development. Uh, which called notemon. So uh, to do that, we can say um, npm install dash d notemon. So uh, it means that um, we are installing the notemon package only for dependence, only for uh, development. So we don't need this for production. So uh, we can install this. 
All right, so after the installation is finished, uh, as you can see that here in our package.json, the node mon is installed as a dev dependencies, which means is uh, successful. So in the scripts, uh, I want to add a script that can al that allows me to uh, start a development server. So every time we uh, update our server code, which is our index.js or any other code inside our source folder, we want to update the server or we want to restart our server. To do that, we can add a new dev uh, script and inside this dev script, we can say nodemon and src index.js. And we also want to specify where our code is stored. So every code, every uh, code in our server is stored inside the source folder. So we can say uh, dash watch and src. So uh, this is done. Now we can go back to our terminal and we can hit, instead of node index to just like this, we can just say npm run dev and it will start our node mon. And as you can see that the server has started. So if we go back to our Chrome, we hit uh, reload and we see uh, the exact same thing. Now if we go back and we maybe want to update this into updated like this. Uh, now, as you can see, the server is updated automatically. Uh, to prove it, here you go. Cool. So that's it for uh, setting up our project. And in the next video, we are going to learn how we can connect our server into our MongoDB database so that we can, uh, you know, modify data in our database. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.